Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly and very easily reformat your landscape footage to vertical. Generally, when you're shooting with a client, they'll ask you to provide multiple formats to them um, with deliverables. So generally, you'll shoot it in a 16 by 9 format, and the client will also ask for a 9 by 16, a 4 by 5, and a 1 by 1. So in that case, what you'll have to do is You'll shoot the video 16 by 9 and then in post-production you'll crop and change the aspect ratios during the edit. You can do this in both the cut page and the edit page but since we're working in the cut page I'll show you how to do it here but it's pretty much the same settings across the, the cut and the edit page for this one. And what we'll be doing in this one is AI smart reframe. So for example we've got this shot here. It was shot in landscape 16 by 9. Let's go through, we got this shot, we got this shot. Let's just say we've got these four pieces of footage and we want to quickly reframe them. What we'll do is we'll go up here, we'll click the drop down, and we'll change the screen to portrait. So straight away it's changed it to portrait and we'll just go over to the inspector here and zoom it in 3.3. So straight away you can see now that I've cropped that in, it's cut off half of the subject. What we'd have to do is we'd have to go in, uh, make adjustments on the position and then keyframe it. So we keep the subject in. A quicker way to do that is press the clip and you can see here we've got AI smart reframe. We've got auto and we've got reference point. I'll show you what they both are in a second, but for now we'll just reframe. DaVinci is going to automatically analyze the clip, decide where the subject is, and then keyframe it so the subject stays exactly in the center of the shot. So now that we play it back, we can see our subject is moved across. You can see the keyframes here on the right side. Let's just go back. You can see the keyframes are moving on the right side to keep, to keep her in the shot in the center. And it's done a pretty good job. What I would do for this one is I would stabilize it. Let's play it back. There we go, pretty good. So, so quick, so fast. Let's go to the next shot and we'll do the same. So generally what I would do is I would just copy all. So say for example, I've got my edit finished. I would just copy all the clips. I would just zoom in 3.3, which will get you the nine by 16. Actually, let's just see what it was like before. So this was the before. So you can see the subject is completely out of the shot. It's just the back of her head. So let's reframe it. And there we go, She's she's back in the middle. So it's done a pretty good job there as well. Let's try this shot, 3.3. So let's just play it back first and kind of see. Yep, so it's not too bad already. You know, she's already pretty centered in the shot, but let's just reframe it and see what Da Vinci does. It'll actually put loads of key points on the shot. So you'll see on the right side here that the position X is moving. So now the camera keeps her really centered on. And that was a lot better actually than the than the original. Okay, so here we have a kite surfer coming in. Let's try and Reframe it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you see that didn't do a very good job. It was kind of all over the place there. It was kind of looking for the, the kite surfer. It didn't really know where to put the camera. In that case, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the reference point and you'll see this box appears when we collect, when we select reference point. We're just going to use this box, put it over the subject and make the kite surfer here the reference point. So let's reframe it and let's see if Da Vinci's done a better job. So there we go. So you can see the difference between auto and reference point. If you've got a scene like this where there's something moving across it and it doesn't quite pick it up when you select auto, you can you can go in and you can use the reference point to really get more granular with the tracking. And you can see it follows it perfect, it keyframes it, it follows the kite surfer completely across the screen. So we've got a nice usable shot. And that's why I recommend, you know, when you copy all and zoom in and then go through and reframe them, just double check how well Da Vinci has tracked the subject and yeah, just make sure that it's kept everything in the center. And like I said, you can do this all in the cut page. So for example, the way I would do this is let's just reset. So these are the original shots in landscape. So basically what I would do is up here, portrait, copy all 3.3, get the nine by 16. And then I would just go reframe. Actually, you know what? I would copy all and reframe. So you can analyze all the clips at once just to really speed up your workflow and do it a lot quicker. There we go. Three, four clips analyzed and you can see it's done the same thing. I would just go through, double check them. And then obviously we had the problem here 
with the height surfer. So then I would go in like I did before, do the reference point, save it off, reframe. And you can see how quickly I've done that. You know, that was done in like 15 seconds. So, you know, if you've got a client job and you just want to quickly convert everything into four by five, sorry, if you just want to convert everything into nine by 16, this is such a fast way to do it. And then you can actually, once you've exported your nine by 16s and you've reframed them in nine by 16, now we can just resize them for or four by five. So you can see we may have to reframe them again. So just keep in mind, you can see that shot there because it was keyframed um, on the 916, the side of the shot was kind of off. So just double check them again. If you need to export in nine by 16, then you need to export again in four by five. Just double check that when you've resized it, that you don't have these black bars on the left side. The other option is just to zoom in a little bit more. And there we go. It keeps the reframing and you've just zoomed it in. And finally, we can just down and get our one by one let's uh go through so we can zoom out a little bit go so let's go to two so i'll just go through and change the sizing again and you can see we've got our safe area bars here so we know everything within those in this white box will be in the in the video so you just need to be a little bit careful not to if you want her full head in the shot there you know you have to zoom out a little bit so these are great ways just to make sure that you're not missing any you know important parts of the footage when you're exporting for vertical and exporting for social media so super quick that was a uh, smart reframing it's very powerful very easy to use and super convenient if you just want to quickly resize, adjust your footage and, you know, get it out to your client after you've spent all the time on the edit. You know, this is just a super easy, simple way to speed up your workflow.